I thought Doomsayer would be a problem against Taunt Warrior, but even Taunt Warriors are taking a lot against more aggro and less face healing now. I'm not, I'm, now that I think of, I'm not even sure if Doomsayer was bad against Taunt Warrior, and so, because they just play a lot of low attack, high health taunts, which are bad against Doomsayer. Druid, Innerate Fledgling, we're looking for Doomsayer, and even Archonologist over Frostbolt. Frostbolt's only good against Innerate Fledgling, but that's big. Oh, oops, I should never drop Glyph here. Uh oh, two secrets. Oh, no, it's not, wait, wait, never mind. It's eight. I thought it was two now. secrets for some reason. We want to keep his numbers down. If I coin Glyph, I uh, don't have a ping target. Like, yeah, pinging is not great against aggro decks when you can do other stuff, because ping is the weakest thing you can do with your two mana, but his deck is so much about numbers because it's all about marking a lotus and stuff so like ping one one here is just not a weak turn it's a really strong turn in my opinion frostbolt here almost all the time but if he plays fledgling i run into issues big issues i could go glyph i'm playing so off curve though Although I can take any secret and still play with Frostbolt next turn. Like, say he plays Tar Creeper and I Frostbolt this next turn. It's just directly in turn 3, Fledging is so common. I'm going to do this. Ooh, Merry Christmas. It's perfect. Against Fledging, I Frostbolt and play Fundamental. We don't want to take eight, start chipping at this anyways without Polymorph in my hand. I'm not going to Glyph for Polymorph at this point, it's dumb. I can already threaten to kill with our Mana Worm next turn. Mana Worm Glyph should be able to easy trade in. Probably no fledging his hand, okay, well, we know his hand now. Oh, scary. Firelands, I can play next turn. I can't play any of these this turn. Technically, apply Ice Block this turn, Barrier, and a Flame Elemental, but even playing one more spell, it's a 4 3. I still can't trade into the Glock or Crawler. I can just take Firelands Pearl and trade into the Bitter Tide Hydra. So I can guarantee kill at next turn while saving myself a 10 damage anyways because he has to trade for Doomsayer with the Bitter Tide. That should be good. Lots of scary stuff that can happen though. I can snowball because he plays second Bitter Tide Hydra. Mark your charge here. He just has to dump 9 damage into this Doomsayer. So very similar compared to the 10 from before. He needs top decks, a really good one here. He needs a 5 drop. Nope. He needed a bear tide or living mana. No way. <laughs> like what? Oh, it's the thing of trading? This is way too late to trade for him, right? I just want to develop like stuff, so I play this first. Minions are good here, and I could potentially get something to play this turn. Flame Caller is useless here, although Flame Caller is not useless for the game. Bane of Doom allows me to have a full kill, but I'm looking to play Secrets. I'll play Secret this turn and Twilight Flame uh, Bane of Doom next turn. If he plays Living Mana, the <sighs> Flame Caller is not great anyways. I think I'd take Bandit Doom and play Barrier, yeah. So I go down to 14 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
It does work. Do I die Savage Roar top deck with two minions? No, I shouldn't. Savage Roar is only six damage, seven, eight, nine damage. It's on Star Italics, it should win. I mean, this is not the best use of five mana, unfortunately. So maybe the other choice are better. All the choices are useless, though, huh? So it's okay. Like, I don't have to play Banner Doom this turn. If I don't have better plays, I can still, like, go other plays. Is Banner Doom sufficiently good here, though? Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, between this Ice Block in my hand, too, and the Alex. Ooh. One of his fives. Well, I can't play Medivh to contest the board just because his Hydra is so powerful. I got pretty lucky that I get this strong Inferno here. I think it's definitely better to play Ice Block over AI. Because next turn, even if I don't Alex want to play Mediv, and I just want to have the. A game. So kind of you to join me. I just want to have the Ice Block already developed so I'm safe against everything. I mean, this is scary, but I don't think it's way too late for him. I think it's not that scary. It's not scary enough to beat Mediv and Alex. Mm -hmm. Wind Fury Roar, if that pops on block into stealth. Then I still heal 15, he has an 8 power on board. I don't know. <laughs> Poisonous, scary. I actually think it's better for me to race him here. Heals this, heals to 11, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, I don't think we attack. Because he's always going to have mana hero power. If he had one less mana, or one less health, I think I should attack face. That threatens lethal if my Medivh sticks. Because he always kills a bigger minion with Fledgling, if he decides to trade. Now he's dead. Can't buy him. Medivh versus Jaina. I can stick. Let the game mm -hmm. begin. Mm, okay. All right, we have Eater of Secrets against Mage. I don't keep two cores. I even keep one core. I have a turn three play in uh, secret, but that's not a strong turn three play. It's correct to keep courier against burn, but not against aggro and for a general thing. I think it's still good. I think more burn is more common. Burn's really about value wars. Where's the record today? You're kind so fast. I had some streaks though today. Interesting. If we don't play Doomsayer here, it's hard to get a better one. And if Doomsayer goes off here, actually Mana Room means he's more aggro. I, I can't really justify not Doomsayer in here. Even though I want to play Arcanal just really bad. I want to pull my secrets ASAP before I draw them. I think ultimately I'll play Courier on turn 3 if this goes off so I can double Arcanal just compared to Arcanal just instantly. A 2-2 two -two is way worse than 2-3 against Mages because he has 2-3s. Nah, but mana efficiency, it's like too much of a difference. That's a good draw, actually. Because we're gonna have secrets. Face of Summoner is good in the value grind. You can still be aggro, but it's not like Hellfire. Or, it's not like the other cards are that great. They're not bad either, but I just don't know what, even what a deck he is. And I already have good hand against aggro, I'd say with double valet. With lots of removal. It's like a little bit awkward with ear secrets instead of ooze. Even a mage mirror, I, I think I think it's not even close. It's way better, but you can get outvalued by Medivh with that is too. It's, there are some downsides technically. 
Uh, I wish we didn't draw a secret. Oh, well, we still get two secrets. An incredible discovery. An incredible discovery. This card's in, but. Okay, so we develop a secret here and play Valet. I think it's still better than trading, even though we're kind of weak to AoE. He did play a Glyph, meaning he can Flame Strike with the Glyph. Is it ever worth it for us to hold back our Valet? We're already pretty strong here. Um, mm. I could actually see that being the correct play. Because he simply can't single target down three minions and still have a decent end game. Okay, yeah, so I should play around AoE. Now the question is. What do I check counter spell with? Ice block, ice barrier. Ice barrier, I'd rather go off first. I think barrier, it's less vulnerable to counter spell, and he's not hitting me to proc the barrier anytime soon for valet, because I have board control. Uh, volcanic, I guess. Or this. This is less weak to volcanic. But at that point, I, I think volcanic is fine. We'll just eat the loss with volcanic, but at least we didn't play the valet into volcanic. I think we don't want to trade the 2-2 in, because then he can kind of just kill every minion, like double valet, or one valet frostbolt. At that point, it's like he actually could kind of single target down all our guys and kind of be fine. If he had to single target down three of our guys, I don't think that's really possible. But two is kind of like, we're getting iffy territory maybe. It's forced like some ping mana and stuff. I think we can play summoner into, uh, into flame strike, that's fine. Ooh, that's kind of good. Just kind of annoying, since it's only like this half of the face summoner. Just something kind of annoying is pretty good. High health, kind of sticky chips, some chip damage. Not that impactful. But... Not prioritize card draw with glyph if possible. I feel we have eater secrets in our deck, right? That's what we're trying to draw eater secrets, especially with our early tempo in this matchup. In this game, let's say, if I get Eater Secrets, I don't really see him winning. Because he's really reliant on Alex Draws and Block right now. A lot of burn damage, too. Double Valley. Well, we all start with Glyph here. Okay, well this is easy because two of our card two of these cards are useless. Do we play into flame strike with one more minion? Because we're just burning mana at this point if we don't play it. But if he flame strikes I think because of the potion of polymorph we don't play valet. One of the big reasons to play valet is because he can coin Medivh and I'd rather have as many minions as possible. But coin Medivh gets countered by Potion of Polymorph. There's some upside and maybe because the secret can buff counter spell. I'm not sure if that's even worth it though. To play around like the buff like that when I'm so far ahead. <coughs> Didn't really check for counter spell coin. Excuse me, you are on fire. I'm pretty certain it's Ice Barrier. We're always going to be attacking though this game, so we're never not doing that. Excuse me, you are on fire. We might consider double valet here. If you coin Alex, we have we want to pop his block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Interesting. eight, fourteen. Oh, we're one off. Gross. Excuse me, you are on fire. Oh no, we had a well. Ugh. Okay. I think if he Alex, basically, if he Alexes us, we're at fifteen, right? And we need to play block, because that's barrier, and it's not safe to be at 15. Uh, 
I think I should play our meteor a little better too. The game begins. Yeah, I was planning like if you Alex this, we would play Ice Block, Fireball, Valet, and Papa's Block at one. We would still lose to Alex and to Eater of Secrets, though, kind of, with that lane. But we can't just have a barrier up against Alex, because he can burn us out with 15. We have Alex. It's not super important for us. So we get his block here. Then he's going to have to Alex or block number two. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's ping this. So if we give him to five and he plays block number two, Frost will ping pops. But if, I think it's more likely he plays Alex. And if he plays Alex, we can Meteor and then uh, ping the Doom Guard. So, I mean, there's downsides of both plays. I think this is the more likely play. Alex over ice block is more ice block number two. I, I would see is more common. Uh, too bad I didn't get the eater secrets. It's kind of useless now. Cause I already start popping his blocks. Would have just been a straight up kill. None see the lotus. Okay, that was the secret. That's ice block. If we pop his block, then he just Alex draws himself, and we can't even deal five more damage. So there's no way we ever uh, power a blast here. I think I like meteor in the middle rather than the left and getting one more ping damage. Because this is a 5-2 and not a 5-5. Five, five. That's a pretty big difference. Especially with the Mana Worm as a 2-3. And I don't have like Volcanic or like Flame Strikes, things like that. I only have Flame Strikes in deck. I took it out for second Meteor, which I think is good. We can still save Axe to heal ourselves, but right now this is kind of getting really iffy for us. Kind of outer value. That's a pretty good draw. Again, so kind of you to join me. It's getting hard for us to beat Alex because Medivh is outvaluing us. Uh, let's see, my Alex is useless post Medivh because mm. if I lose that block, I can heal myself to 15. But since his board's gonna be so big, then the heal itself is useless. I kind of wish I pinged the, the face of 2 1, but that's only if, on a Frostbolt top deck. If we top deck Medivh where we want to Frostbolt this turn, Although, even if we top deck Medivh, we can just use our weapon, huh, to get the last damage in. I think we cannot ping this turn. It weakens us against Alex. If he's at 1, he's more likely to want to Alex himself. We still have Eater Secrets, so I can just Eater Secrets for us to ping. He doesn't get our block here, although we can't beat his Eater Secrets anymore. If he has it. Oh no, he can get our block here? No way. Well, we can still beat him if he doesn't run Alex, or if we get Eater Secrets, we kill him. Ice Block, Frostbolt Ping. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we still can play this. Okay, so we do this. Prop his block. If he Alex draws us himself next turn, can we ever win? I don't think so. 
We never beat Alex, even taking more burn, because we don't have enough time. Flame Gods allows me to win on a Primordial Glyph into Ice Block into Frostbolt. Dark Shard Librarian allows us to discard our... Alex draws our Power Blast, which are presumably useless cards to get ear- The thing is, it's too late for ear secrets. I guess it's just Flame Geyser. And now we can- uh, this, this is so bad for us at this point. We, we lose to Alex, and we lose to- I guess Alex, yeah. He's already has two Ice Blocks, right? We lose to Alex, and we lose to- if he somehow has more ice blocks, then he wins the ice block war. Another thing about taking a 3-2 discard is it discards a card, but I don't actually get the draw until the next mm -hmm. turn, so... It's too slow. There's a decent chance he doesn't have Alex, because some of his plays... Well, he could pop my blocks, and maybe it makes more sense to Pyro, but... Alex mm -hmm. seemed pretty good when he was at 4, too, you know? When he was at 4, it's already a lot of value, and... Plays aren't Eater Secrets by Alex or Drawsing himself. Feels bad. Anyway. Other cards are so bad everything. It's it's really about breakpoints, not what's good or bad. Because all cards are useless in this kind of game, other than specific cards. Yeah, I was also thinking about taking circle of healing to play around counterspell. But ultimately that's I don't think it was that important because he's already at one. It's counter spell. I can just ping, so it's not gonna have to power blast him. Medivh versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Let the games begin. This is a hard matchup, I would say. Because Murlocs snowball hard out of all the aggro decks, and they're it's least vulnerable to AoE. Not that Murlocs are bad against AoE, but Polymorph is good against control. If we're playing a burn game, he did pass turn one. It might be control. This is a hard call because Frosto Doomsayer is really good, and I have two Doomsayers in this deck. Okay, let's see. He mulliganed one card and kept everything else, and he misses one drop. That means that there's no way that it's aggro. You don't keep all your whole hand, don't don't play one drop. Like he can still play Hydrologist and stuff, but I just don't think it's aggro, even if he does play it. That was one of the cards he kept. Job's done. Let the pain speak to nice. me. Playing a burn slash medieval control game. I'm assuming eventually he'll outvalue us on board, but that's not necessarily true with medieval and polymorph. I don't see a reason to do any other play though than frostbolt here and ping here. Even though Acolyte's not that easy for him to activate, because I can AI ping here next turn too. Out of my He held the secret that he got from this. There's no Frost Nova. It's really, really good to time Frost so Doomsayer right before Alex. Then you can Alex in the 15. Then they have to either like lay in hands or been healing. But then they don't kill her Alex. Or if they Peacekeeper, they don't get to play Ragnarok, like a bunch of other stuff, you know? But is there any reason to do that? I need to hold as much burn as possible this matchup. One damage is not that easy to do. I could frost, uh, I could, uh, let's say, ice block plus doomsayer here. The end is could one more mana, I can valet ping, it's fine. He needs one more. Uh, not that it's hard, but. I might steed to do one more damage. We can polymorph the steed. Hope I would assume he'd steed the right minion. Loses some damage by doing that. 
Burning Consecrate's not bad, but Ultimate Consecrate's not a high impact card in this matchup. The reason I played Ice Block or Barry, I want to save the secret so I have valets later. Coin ping. Oh, he's player on counter. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that makes sense. A game. So kind of you to join me. He just uses Harrison. A lot of times against mage, they just play their stuff on curve, I guess. Maybe it's another weapon? I don't know, we'll see. Okay, he's pressuring us hard. We're gonna try to win the board, though. I like Meteor Barrier. Now the question is... What do I Meteor? I think I would Meteor the middle, right? Kill three three threes over a 3-7-3-3? Three, seven, three, three? This is better. Random six drop, random three drop. Three drop can. Interesting. I don't, ultimately, don't think it matters. Seven drops is Antonitis, but I don't think six and three matter. The ordering here. Like, spell power didn't matter there either. We gotta use this Medivh for board control. Out of my jungle. With Medivh, no Alex. That's our game plan for now. I'm on fire. I can ping here, Meteor here. Wait, trade ping, Meteor, Frostbolt? Perhaps. Firelands Portal 7 drop over Meteor. I can Firelands Portal this. Hit here, ping. Interesting. Three, four, five. Okay, I guess both are kind of fine. I think I'm leaning towards Firelands. We don't really worry about Wicker Flame too much, because he's already at 30, pretty much. Our, we still have a lot of burn, but this is all post-Alex burn. You say the Polymorph for uh, Tyrion or Rag, maybe Steed. Like, depends how the game goes. Sometimes you ignore Tyrion and go and save for Rag, sometimes you do it the other way around. That'll work for the swin. This is not a favorite matchup for me. My Fireball, Fireball, Frostbolt it's 15. Power Blast 25. Valet 28. But we have to kill this Wicker Flame. And we won't win the race against blocks. Okay. Six is good in the sense that, well, I hope I don't lose my block, but he could get my block still a Consecrate True Silver. The end is coming! Reporting for duty. What is his hand? This is not a bad turn to just fling the Power Blast. If I go for Board Control, Double Trade, Mana Worm, I just open myself up the Equality Consecrate or Consecrate Primordial Drake. He either doesn't have True Silver Champ- actually, he doesn't have True Silver Champion because he didn't play it. So there's no True Silver in his hand right now, but it has Equality. This is a set for Equality Consecrate. That's why I didn't True Silver Consecrate me. So I don't really know whether he has Primordial Drake or not. Okay, anyways. Wait, do I have Lethal? 19, no. Should you trade the hog instead in case you get Demon Sinner Dark Ball? Yeah, I should have. 
And I wasn't good enough to see that move. It's kind of on the rope, and that's very hard to see the there. Uh, well, it gives force spread a bit of healing. So we can get him to... We can do 15 here, and we still need our 10, right? So if we do 15, we still need 10. That's not really going to work for us, because we can't do another 10 without Cliff. I feel like we need to save the Pyroblast. <clears throat> okay, now the question is, does Courier matter enough, or should I just play it this turn? Random potion of Felfire does damage to me. I think just shadow forms are chipping at him. Now this shadow form makes the Alex Straza not as important to get anyways, because I got a decent amount of damage with the shadow forms turn where Alex Straza not even doing the full damage anymore. <laughs> Drav, Dravor, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Here is a Crofist. <sighs> okay. Oh, Vaporize. Spellbender against... The thing is, this is all about a break point. I like Vaporize more here. Do I ever get Freezing Potion instead? And just freeze us a camp trade for the Man Worm? Because he needs this and Consecrate to pop my block. I don't think I play around Spiker Seed. The board doesn't matter that much to do that. Unless he gives me the thing, but that's unlikely. Oh wait, what? Oh no, I should have. Follow the rules. Reporting for duty. I should have fireballed him last turn. The freeze allows his Nazoth not to trade for our Mana Worm. That's why I did it. We want to use all our mana, so we ping here. We're casting two spells. Actually, we're casting these spells. I can still play this. Okay, so I like this. Um, Valet here and double far, or Farwell Frostle ping face. Polymorph of eight, Valet of two ping. <sighs> I don't know if we can beat Rag Light Lord ever this game. Because we're losing our block. Actually, I'm not sure if we can. Excuse me. Oh, that's scary. Let me think. We, that miss fireball is really bad for us. Okay, so he's playing to eye for an eye. <laughs> Good thing I have ear secrets. Reporting for duty. The reason why we kept polymorph is I think we could still be light lord. Say he heals the fourteen with light lord, and we polymorph it. If we top deck ice block. If we top deck ice block and polymorph. We could still beat Light Lord. That's the reason why I didn't polymorph last turn to do a little bit more damage with Frostbolt. Last turn is complicated. It would have been easier as Fireball than didn't waste mana that one turn.